So let's see. So here, still on this topic, I feel that just there's more information to get out. Um, I'm gonna say my my feeling is that there's something I need to look at. And okay, let's see where this goes. So does this work? Apparently so. Reasonably well. It's gonna be a nice map of uh, everything we're talking about. It's sort of erased, but not really. That's fine. So here's what I'm saying. In my understanding, we have um, if this is the human body. Here we have our let's say animal energy source or the source of the kundalini, or the source of... Um, it's just electricity, basically. Chi, prana, whatever. By breath, it goes up, and from here it goes into either head, to be spent as neurons. There's some things we can do with the eyes or with sound, whereby we throw it out. So we can throw it out with eyes, we can throw it out with, by sound, by talking, or by making... <laughs> Um, or it goes out through limbs, through movement. Anatomically speaking, we have something here. It's just—it's not just like the brain is in the head. It's um, yeah, we have neurology in the head, but we have something called the gut brain, which is a bunch of neurons that have to do with. Um, Mixing and organizing the, the enzymatic, like the, the stomach, the digestive juices, so to speak. So the mix, what when you eat a carrot, you have to digest it one way. When you eat an apple or spinach or meat, you have to digest it in other ways. There's different enzymes and juices and combinations, and neurology here deals with that. Um, but when you're not digesting, that I think that neurology does other things. It just follows your emotional well-being and so on and so forth. And it follows the the bird game, the connection game that we all play. Boy, if this thing actually made some marks, it would be really we'd be going places. So it follows the the connectional game that we all play. If it's going well, one observation that I have is that you need less food. When people argue, when you argue with people, right after an argument you may see that this thing it's Angry. You can also, like, symbolically stating your your wolf gets angry, your your reptile gets angry, and he wants to eat something to sink its teeth into somebody or something. Um, and I just noticed this now that I, I just got annoyed, irritated with the whole um, Freddy situation and other patterns like it, and I instantly got hungry and. I've been following this for a while because this is actually what birds do. You look at the male pigeons, they hunt for females as much as possible and then they get depleted and they need to eat again. It's a very high intensity activity. But you can slow this whole process down. I mean, what I'm saying is, it's not the connection that eats up your good vibes and then uh, pushes you into more eating than you actually need. It's when you try to connect and it fails, when you try to, to connect like this and somebody else, it's, I mean, they either the timing doesn't match, they come like this, so they come later or earlier, or, ooh, they come. <laughs> or they just come like this and it's feeble and it just it doesn't go to the intensity that you want it to be. So there's this can be the problem or this can be a problem. Whatever the problem is that makes uh, you and this other wizard or neuron not connect, your, you will feel it in your gut. So this area here with the, with the abdomen, it has to do with when it goes well, you're sort of in love and you get the, the butterflies. When somebody, when you see somebody that's sort of special to you because there's certain things that are very compatible in, in your system and neurology, you will feel this here. So when it works, you feel it and you feel well. When it doesn't work, when it you try to connect and it goes rah, sideways. Oh boy, now you need food, especially sweet or fatty food, to get that dopamine to compensate for the lack of satisfaction in you trying to connect, so serotonin or oxytocin. 
Why am I saying that? I'm saying that I measure this stuff, and one of the ways in which I know whether it's worth hanging out with somebody is, do they make me anger eat, irritation eat? Do, do I get the angry, like, uh, food vibes? If so, then uh, fuck off. Just get out of my life. This is not worth it. Um, what am I saying? Boy. I'm, I'm saying that I've been working on the stuff, trying to connect with a large number of people in the past year, year or two, and this is a pattern that I've been seeing more and more. The sort of, are you here now? Oh, no, i got to do this. Well, how about now? No, i got to do this other thing. And just, ah. And to come back to my earlier thing, I think this is something that I need to find out. Like, why, why am I irritated? What, what's the problem here? The problem here is something like, um, like Bashar says, lack of trust. Ooh, ooh, and Bashar says that on their, so they, on, on several Bashar, uh, alien, um, several Bashar lectures, he mentions that humans don't need to eat as much as they think they do. So I'm saying, if you play the game right, and you just follow enthusiasm, and if somebody pisses you off, you don't eat on top of the annoyance, but you just tell them, fuck off for life, and then avoid that kind of people, you're... I mean, if you, if, you, if you can manage to navigate better so as to avoid the irritation of this thing, you can then eat less. Now, we know that calorie reduction in rats, but probably also in humans, in mammals in general, leads to a longer lifespan. So, in the sense, irritation um, costs you life, because you eat more, and you can only have... Um, you can only digest a certain number of calories and stuff per, uh, per lifetime. Um, so, a bit with Bashar, and this is the stuff I wanted to cover, that we are network, and the whole game is like this connection game. Ta-da-dee, ta da ta da ta da It's like a song, and if we can song, if we can sing nice together, if we can play instruments, together, if we can accompany each other and synchronize, then the network works, works well. If there's one guy there that either doesn't get the rhythm or doesn't want to get the rhythm, then he will get his energy out of annoyance, out of just, haha, I fucked up your song. And I think the, the waiting games that I'm experiencing are something like this. So I'm trying to do high connection, maybe too early, I just like high TPN, or I think it, life is not worth it, if you're, just, uh, if you're just halfway doing everything half-assed all the time. And when people don't want or cannot match me, and I, get put, I put more energy in, and I start to burn energy, and it's like, oh, crap, it doesn't, it doesn't work for me. So, where does this go? I think it has to do with a basic fear that I will not find the awesome people that can do this high t TPN dance with me. So I think it's, uh, as Bashar says, uh, sort of putting trust in a universe or a definition that I don't prefer. Well, well, we are covering some awesome ground here. Oh. So what I'm seeing is kind of like what I've done with many girls, which I'll probably <laughs> Or perhaps do with the whole friendly situation is I want to connect here and I get this response like I'll meet you in a couple of days or a month and I don't want to let my enthusiasm for this whole problem die out and then wait for it to rise again like fuck it I'm I'm, I'm on a roll now here I'm gonna speak my piece I'm gonna I'm gonna dance the dance and if you're gone if you need a month to prepare then well, I guess it's on me to accept the fact that we are not neurons that fire together, if that makes sense, neurologically speaking. We do not have to fire together. We can be, you can be this and I can be this, and we can remain unlinked. I will link with my people, let's say we're the wizards, and you can be with your people. And this is how neurology actually works. Maybe I'll link with one of your people, but not with you. 
Um, I think this is how neurology, neurology and neural networks work in our head. This is how people connect, this is how we make tribes, how we make friends and how we make relationships and everything. It's a sort of issue of synchronization. That's why flaking, saying you'll do one thing in a day and doing it in, in a week or a year, it sort of breaks the connection. Mm. I know there's some stuff that wants to get out of my system and into papers here. I'm going to need some feedback from you folks. I don't even know if this group works or if I should just make these videos and via con Dios. I mean, poh. Okay, third video on the topic of th that started with this whole Friday thing. Um, that's it. I'll post, paint, wait for feedback from you guys, and then check ya later.